been reporting for Katie Chats here at the Real Gangsters press conference in downtown Toronto with Frank D'Angelo. What was initially the inspiration behind the making of this project? You know, I, I, I really couldn't pinpoint it. I, I'm a voracious reader, I'm a voracious writer, and I, I wrote this treatment. You know, we, we do a lot of skits on our TV show, and um, we have uh, my cousin Vito, who's in witness protection, and I, I started writing, and I wrote this, and then one night I happened to be with uh, Nick Mancuso, and I told him what I wrote, and Nick said, you should make this into something. And I said, okay, so let's do it. And, and that's the way I am. Let's just do it. And then the people that are around there said, you know, to do a project of this magnitude. There's planning. Uh, you got to cast. Uh, you got to do this. You got to do that. And, you know, they, 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 they made me feel like it was going to take a year or two years. And I lose interest over it after a day. So, <laughs> so we, uh, Nick said, if you really want to do this, he, he jumped on board and he got me a cast. And, uh, Within five weeks, we shot it. Wow. And what was it like for you, having been the writer and the director and starring in the film as well, wearing all these different hats? I, I, to be honest with you, uh, I didn't even notice. Um, I mean, Nick uh, Mancuso, who's been in this for a long time, said to me, you're going to need a couple of assistants, you're going to need this. I says, no, they'll get in my way. Just let me, let me try it my way. If I fail, I fail. And, and I really didn't see it as, as wearing all the hats. You know, I run a business, and, and, and I've been used to being in that gear all the time. So we did it, and then we tried to fit the music uh, with, the, with the, the rhythm of the movie and the rhythm of the movie with the music, so we got lucky. Everything fit together. What's at the heart of the story? Part of the story is the relationship between two first cousins. Uh, one is a, one is a, a politician, calm, uh, very... Uh, articulate individual and the other one's a sociopath, a, a, a thug, a, a gangster, uh, but in the movie you'll see that he has little s sprinkles of uh, humanity. It's rare, but he has some sprinkles of humanity. What was your acting process like? How did you get into character? That's a great question actually. Uh, the, the reason I think I did a decent job, because I don't see myself just from what I hear from uh, people have seen the movie, is uh, the motivation was Mancuso, Nick Mancuso, uh, John Savage pulled me in, Art Hindle pulled me in. So these guys are, are consummate professional artists. And, and when I started talking to them, I forgot who I was as my real persona in real life. And I, I, I slid into that character. And I think that that's the reason everything worked very well for us. What makes a real gangster to you? A real gangster, a real gangster is a guy, uh, or, or female, because there's some pretty tough women. Uh, is they're, they're sociopaths. They can uh, separate. They're great family people. They love their friends. But when they got to kill or they got to do what they got to do, they do it. That's a real gangster. And where can we find more information on Real Gangsters? And you have a screening coming up at the TIFFA Lightbox, but where can we find all that online? I think it's at www.realgangsters.net. And uh, if you go on YouTube, and, and um, Real Gangsters has got two trailers there. And if you want to see the music video, it's uh, you, you, on YouTube, Frank D'Angelo uh, Music. We have 4 million hits on all our music. But Real Gangster, I think, is up to... Uh, Dreamer, which is the, the soundtrack for Real Gangsters, up to 60,000 hits. So people have connected with the music, they've connected with the characters, and they, they've connect, they can't wait. And right now we're one of the top selling tickets for this festival, and we were the number one selling uh, movie for tickets in New York. And what is the importance of Canadian film to you? It's everything. I'm Canadian. I love Canada. I love Made in Canada. I'm, I'm extremely uh, and ferociously proud of being Canadian, so everything that's Canadian, and my heart breaks that I love hockey, that there's not one Canadian team in there. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of uh, Canadian hockey players, uh, but I love Made in Canada, and we are, we are a great country. Sometimes we're overshadowed by our great cousins south of us, but Canada, wherever you go in the world, is a respected uh, name and it's a respected country and I'm proud that my father and my mother uh, picked Canada, Toronto to immigrate to. 
Thank you so much, Frank. Congratulations and best of luck with the film. Congratulations on your show. I hear it's got lots of legs and everybody watches your film. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Real Gangsters press conference in downtown Toronto.